Let's go over the six things you have to know if you're looking at moving to Omaha, Nebraska. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel if you've been here before. My name is Christian Morris and my business partner Tyson Compton is not here right now. But with this channel we brought to you is Life in, Life in Omaha. We talk about all things that have to do with moving to the Omaha, Nebraska area. If you get any value out of this video, if you don't do me a favor and hit subscribe and the notification bell, we'd really appreciate that. It really helps us out a lot. And we like even more than making these videos. We are full-time licensed real estate agents here in the Omaha area. And we're happy to help you in any way we can on the real estate side of things. If you've got any questions with that, you're looking at moving to the area, looking at buying in the area, maybe selling in the area on the off chance, um, hit the link below to schedule a call with us, get on our calendars, and we'll be happy to help in any way we can on that side of things. Also, call us, text us, email us. All our info is below this video. All right, without further ado, let's get into today's topic. You know, guys, there's a kind of the reason we made this channel is there's a lot of info out there on Omaha, Nebraska, but there's not a ton of like what it's like to live here and, you know, from like an insider's perspective on what exactly it's like and how it is living here. So I'm going to give you the kind of top six things, some good, some bad that you have, that I think you should know. Uh, before moving to the area. So one thing is overall, it's very affordable to live here. Cost of living, I did a video on cost of living here, is quite a bit lower than the national average. If you're coming from a city that's similar size or bigger, it's gonna be quite a bit cheaper here. The only thing that would be a caveat to that, depending on where you're coming from, is we do have state income tax here. But overall on a scale of everything, it is cheaper to live here than most towns in the US have its size, and if they're bigger, it's definitely cheaper to live here. And with the cost of living being cheaper, in my opinion, it gives you a better quality of life, because if you're making the same money or more here, um, and the cost of living is lower, it gives you an overall better quality of life for yourself and your family. Second thing I wanna talk about is kind of tying along with that first one is we have an extremely strong job market here. There's a lot of big companies here. Warren Buffett's from here, obviously, a lot of his companies are here, maybe all of them, but with that being said, there's a lot of job opportunities and a lot of good jobs in the Omaha area that if you're coming here tied along with that lower cost of living, you can probably, everybody I've talked to moving here uh, that has come from this, we actually love working with you guys, uh, has found the same job for higher pay or they're coming here because they're getting more money and the cost of living is below. Just talked to a guy yesterday that moved here for a company as a rep for the company. He said by moving here with his job increase plus the cost of living, he had an extra like $3,000 a month extra by that move. And he said the same job, but just in Omaha. So pretty cool. There's a lot of people that talk about that kind of stuff that you know here is a very good job market, cost of living is lower. So kind of those two are combined, I guess you could say. So definitely a really strong job market here. Third thing I'm gonna talk about is a little bit from like personal experience, because I have um, two young kids about to have three and so one thing I'll say about the area from my and my wife's experience is it's very family friendly and favorite family oriented area. You know, there's a ton of parks, there's a ton of biking trails, there's a ton of things to do outside and inside with your kids, with your family. There's like the Children's Museum, the Air and Space Museum, there's the Gene Leahy Mall, which is downtown. There's a ton of stuff to do for your family here that we absolutely love personally. Um, with having kids and younger kids, especially in Omaha. Kind of kind of going along with that, the schools are amazing. Everybody talks about amazing the schools. Our kids aren't old enough to be in school, but everybody talks about how amazing the schools are here. So um, that kind of goes and ties along with that family friendliness of the Omaha area. So kind of going into number four here and give you some of the possible challenges or negatives. Um, one of them being, and I've probably talked about this a couple times before, is the extreme weather. So the, it does have, in my experience, pretty cold winters. I came from here even colder winters, so it doesn't bother me, but pretty cold winters, and we get some snow and some things like that here. Uh, but the flip side of that that I didn't know about before moving here was the summers can be pretty hot and humid, which if you contrast that, I don't think there's a lot of areas that are that way, like super cold in the winter and pretty hot and humid in the summer. It's not like extremely hot, but definitely in the 90s, and humid, humid a lot of days. Hasn't gotten the 90s yet this year when I'm making this video, we're at the end of May. The hottest it's got so far is like 83, 84, but um, I'm already looking at the forecast. It looks like it's gonna get up close to 90 in the next couple weeks. So I think that's something to prepare for is the weather contrast and they definitely got the extremes here. And kind of going along with that, the area is tornadoes in the area. Um, Semi close by, I've never seen one in Omaha, but the town's surrounding it, so they probably could come to Omaha as well. So tornadoes are something to worry about on the severe weather. 
Also hail. I come from an area that has even worse hail than here, so it doesn't surprise me, but a lot of people coming here are like, oh my gosh, I've never dealt with hail before. How does that work? And what do I have to deal with insurance? It does increase your insurance a little bit if you're in an area with no hail, but everywhere has something, right? So here it's hail and then the occasional tornado around the area. So that kind of goes along with the weather and the negatives um, that that can bring with it. All right, number five I'm gonna go over is a little bit to do with um, the weather as well, and that's allergies, seasonal allergies. A lot of people have issues with seasonal allergies here if they're sensitive to certain things. Like, I'm just giving an example, like my daughter has eczema and she has uh, a little bit of allergies along with that, so it has affected her a little bit. We've had to change some things and work on some things to help her adjust to the environment. And then my brother actually has really bad seasonal allergies, especially with like cottonwood and things like that, and we have that in the area. So that is something to consider is, the allergy based things could affect you if you're coming here. And the word I was looking for earlier that I didn't have is pollen. You know, the pollen in the air can affect people, affects my daughter a little bit, affects my brother. So, and I know other people that affects as well for sure. So if that's something that's like a major red flag issue for you, then just keep in mind it's definitely here. And number six, my last thing uh, here for you guys is to all you people that are opposite of me, who do not have small kids, maybe you're a young person going out, you like to go out on the weekends, you like to hit up the clubs or whatever, right? Um, nightlife options here are pretty sparse. There is some nightlife here for sure, but it's not like a major city that you would expect where you got a bunch of clubs, you got places you can go drink at night or whatever you're into, um, go dancing and things like that. There's not a ton of that here. There is some, like I said, there's definitely options, but if nightlife is your thing, you really like to go out and do things at night, and not just, you know, not just partying or whatever, you just like to go do things at night, there's not a ton of options for that. Downtown is nice and there's stuff to do, and there's places to go, um, but there's not a ton of that here. So just something to expect if that's a very important thing to you. All right guys, again, if you are looking at moving to the Omaha area and you have any questions, we got your back covered on anything when moving to Omaha. Call us, text us, email us, or hit the link below that says schedule a call with us. Happy to help in any way we can. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you next week. Peace.